Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my studio apartment. I'm going to show you how the apartment looks and I'll get into details on the cost I spend for living in this um, area. So to get started, my apartment is 550 square feet. Rent does increase yearly. Um, I currently pay 1150. That's not including utilities. So Wi-Fi, electricity, and water is additional. So some months I do find that I have a higher electricity bill because heat is by electric. So another thing about the reason why my cost is a little bit higher than um, other areas of Pennsylvania is because I live in the city of Philadelphia. 10 to 15 minutes walk will get you to Center City. So it's definitely all about location. Uh, my end of the city has a pretty low crime rate compared to other areas. So if you are deciding to move to the city, you wanna do a little bit of digging and download the Citizen app. That app, it has saved me a lot. It tells you like um, really bad incidents in the area. So you know like when to avoid certain streets. Um, I don't have a car, so I'm not paying for those extra fees. So a lot of my budgeting is around my rent. If you guys are okay with that, then I think it's completely reasonable. I'm in my early to mid 20s. So my cost of living um, could be a little bit lower, but with everything around me, I feel like I end up spending a little bit more. I do find myself buying out and um, that could be a reason why I spend a little bit more money. Um, grocery stores are pretty accessible. There's a lot of options in the area, but of course I have to walk to them. Um, Targets also, there's a bunch of Targets in the area, but I would definitely not grocery shop in Target because I would probably leave spending hundreds of dollars. Also, I've noticed within the last few months of quarantine, there have been so many construction sites creating like all these apartment buildings so i can definitely see the cost of living increasing in philadelphia so that's something else to keep in mind if you do move here if you guys have any questions related to um, moving or any questions about living in your first apartment please comment down below this is my first studio apartment so i can definitely um, give you my perspective so I'll just go ahead and give you guys a tour now. So I'm going to first start by showing you guys what the apartment looked like before I moved everything in. You can see from the flooring and the walls that it's definitely up to date. Um, it wasn't like beat up or anything like that from what I've seen in the city. For what I'm paying, um, you can get really crappy apartments. So I was definitely happy that um, it had like a really clean look to it. In the kitchen, you have like nice granite countertops and a lot of um, drawers and like shelving units. So a lot of places to put your um, kitchen stuff. I was surprised that there was a pantry. It was pretty funny because I was looking for the light switch and it's right at the top. You just pull it. I feel like this pantry can fit a whole like twin size bed so someone can live in here if they really wanted to. But um, you guys will see what I use it for later in this video. I'll be honest, I wish that they gave me stainless steel kitchen appliances like my refrigerator, my microwave, and my dishwasher. But then again, some places don't even give you a dishwasher and a full-size fridge. So beggars can't be choosers. And the fact that it all matches, um, I'm pretty happy with that. And you can see the large um, living area. There's not a lot of natural light hitting because of um, where my room is, but you do get some light. Now, this is what the walk-in closet looks like. You can see there's already racks um, implemented in this apartment. So it saved me a lot of time from like buying IKEA furniture for storage and um, a lot of racks and shelves that I can put um, my stuff in. And they gave me a vanity, which I was so, so, so happy about. In the bathroom, it has like a really antique vintage vibe to it. Like there's porcelain, um, everything is sleek white and just a basic 
bathroom, <laughs> I would say. Now, this is what it looks like today. So, this is my entrance. This is how I came in from my left. Currently, there's a closet, which is a mirrored two-door closet. I have a lot of storage room here. There's three racks. Um, it's pretty stuffed because I do have a lot of coats. <laughs> On the other side, put my shoes there. I have this little corner that I can put my umbrella, which is a pretty good little corner for that. I have this little key stand, which is nice to put my like work badge and my keys to hang on here. I got this from AliExpress. It was really cheap light switch to turn on this main light i think this is just like a yellow fluorescent light so it's nothing like special and here you would think it's just like a little closet it's actually a walk-in closet so coming in this was already pre um made for me like everything was like set for storage so i didn't really have to make any additional room um yeah, this is a picture that I created digitally and then I printed it out. So closing my closet door, this is what the entire closet looks like. And I got this from Ikea. What I do like about this hanging rack is that there's two. So a lot of good um, space for clothing. And this is definitely really helpful. These racks or um, shelves are actually adjustable. So that's definitely handy. On the other side of the clothing, there's storage here. You can see it's definitely really messy. Um, it's helpful to get like a lot of baskets. I got these from um, TJ Maxx, um, I think Marshalls and Burlington. So you guys are looking for baskets. Those are where I got mine. And this is probably my favorite part about my apartment. It's like a little vanity. I was thinking before moving in here, I was going to buy like a little makeup stand, but this was already here for me. I just had to provide my own um, little chair and I can just sit here and do my makeup. The lighting is not bad. Um, I wish that maybe if I did stay here a little longer, I would probably install like lights on the side to give me um, a better like lighting for my makeup. But I think this is pretty good enough. You can see like there's drawers here. I can put like a lot of storage in there and I do like how it's a pretty good space because in the beginning of COVID I did use this as like a working station. Alright so in here is my bathroom. The door is pretty like um, lightweight so it kind of like swings open and like hits my tub a lot and the lighting is pretty nice there's two kinds of lights in the bathroom there's that very bright like warm light i think this is like a um heating type of light and this is um the same design as my vanity i got those leaves from trader joe's and when you dry them they look really good as decor you can see pretty standard there's a lot of space for me in these um drawers and i like how it's like a mirrored look because that kind of matches everything the only thing i don't like is that this thing comes off i think they just like use like glue or something um the other side came off so i have to just deal with one but there's a lot of space in here i put like my extra storage that's what i like about this studio apartment is that there's a lot of storage i fit a lot of things in here um the other side is my shower not much and this rack is really helpful for my robes and my towel 
I have my hand towel here. So that is what the bathroom looks like. So leaving the bathroom, I'm coming out and on my left side is my kitchen. A lot of cabinets, as you guys can already see initially. So I don't even like use these, but I always know there's going to be a lot of space there for me. Um, microwave is already in unit for me. Are you an adult if you don't have an air fryer? <laughs> so the fridge is pretty standard. It's just a plastic white um, refrigerator. You can see I have my kitchen equipment and my beautiful dish rack. So this is where I keep all my cat stuff. Um, pretty cute little area. Everything fits in this basket I got from Walmart. And I have my like router and stuff like in this corner blocked off with the cat stuff so it doesn't get wet from the dishes. I have a dishwasher but I never used it so just gonna keep that there. And here's my closet. There's like a little string that I pull to turn on the light. My dad made these shelves for me so these weren't here before I moved in but I think these are definitely helpful. It can fit like pretty much everything. Especially living by myself, I think that this is like a really good apartment. Have my cat litter here, trash, cleaning stuff, all the extra storage I keep in here. It's always very messy, so I don't like to go in here a lot. And I like that I can always close it if I want, but I usually leave it open because of my cat. So leaving my closet, coming in this way, you can see the left side is my kitchen and all that. And looking straight directly, you can see my cat's food and water. And a lot of her toys will be laying around the apartment because she owns this apartment. I have her um, little house that I made under here. I have this table that I used to use for, um, you know, like a dining table. But now with COVID and everything, I took away the chairs and I put in my storage. Now I only have one chair with that um, desk that does not match but it's used for content creating so i like to keep that there and especially living by myself i don't really feel the need to like put all everything like out here as if there's like a whole family living here since it's just me so looking to the left this cubby is from ikea and i think it's so helpful for anyone who lives in a studio you're trying to divide your living space with your um i guess like your kitchen area and finding baskets have been really helpful for um, putting a lot of extra junk and things that make your apartment look cluttered and messy so i definitely suggest getting um, a lot of baskets and I think it also looks like really neat and cute. So um, I have this chair from Ikea. My cat took over it. I'm barely in it. But I think this is like a cute little corner. And plus like the wood matches. So why not? I have um, some yoga mats that I barely use. But this is another good space to put it in. So moving over here, you can see my cat tree and my cat has taken over this whole corner. So that's her area. I have my um, heater and AC in one. I wish I had centralized heat and AC, but this is pretty good. It warms up and it cools down the entire apartment. And you can see outside, I have a beautiful construction site. Um, definitely noisy, but it's something that you just have to learn to get used to if you live in the city. I have this lamp that pretty much everybody owns. It's from Ikea. It was really cheap and it does its job. I like to cover the wires and everything with this um, birch wood in a vase. The only thing that you guys have to be careful is like my cat tries to eat it a lot. So if you guys have pets, just like keep out. Um, just be aware that they may like chomp on it but i know it's like not deadly for cats 
So this TV stand was um, recycled from my parents' place. The dining table and also the cubby was from my parents' place. And honestly, being a broke college student, I really don't have a problem with um, taking free furniture. So that's probably why you guys notice like there's gold and there's silver and there's dark wood and there's light wood, but it doesn't matter to me because it's my first studio apartment. Um, moving over to this corner, it's my little desk. I got this L-shaped desk from Amazon. Um, this chair is from Amazon. My dad built me this little um, shelf. I don't even know what you call that. Um, this was I got for free from people giving away in the apartment building. Um, this I got free also my printer you should definitely check marketplace if you're looking for free things especially during COVID everyone is um decluttering since you're working from home I've noticed in the city people give away like a lot of free things so I I've gotten so many free things in this apartment I could make a whole video on like everything I've gotten but that's a whole nother story so this is a really cute corner. The only thing is I would probably buy a divider. Um, I would probably place it here. So when I have Zoom meetings and stuff, I can always um, avoid having the bed in the background. So that's the only thing I would say. You can see the construction site. The blinds, I don't have a problem with. They're just a basic, um, you know, pull, pull this down to cover. So, just your simple blinds. I have a calendar, cork board, and a whiteboard. So, if you guys are thinking of ideas, I think this is a really good combo. So, moving over here, I have my air purifier. This is essential if you live in this city because I always get really bad allergy. And I do notice that um, it picks up a lot of dirt. And there's... Um, an app that it has that you can connect it to and you can see your air quality improving during the um, month so this is really helpful because the city is always polluted and um, my cat sheds a lot so it picks up a lot of cat fur humidifier is really really helpful also I don't know why but I just feel like um, my quality of life is is a little bit improved with these two gadgets. So my bed and this nightstand is from Ikea. It was recycled from my parents' house. It was my old bed. Um, I have a mattress topper, so this mattress is so old, but the topper definitely improves the quality of that. Fun fact, this is a futon, so it's a sofa bed. You can just push it down and anyone can sleep on it. it comes out to i believe a twin size bed so it's really helpful especially if you um don't have an additional bed just like laying around in your apartment the cubbies and the way that the sofa is laid out i think is really good for um giving your bed some privacy it's kind of hard in a studio apartment to find the right corners for everything. I've tried moving my bed so many different times and I, I think this is like the best um, way to put all my furniture. And I also tried moving the TV and little like living room space to that corner, but I feel like this area is like made for the TV. So that's why it's like in an awkward place. If you guys found this video helpful, please don't forget to like it. It would help a lot. And if you guys can um, share the video, maybe if you know anyone who does want to move to Philadelphia or anyone who um, has a studio apartment, maybe this can give them some information or ideas. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.